I'm so excited because today I'm kicking off a new series, the Sketchbook Challenge series. The goal is to fill up this entire sketchbook. And that's because I rarely do that. I always have multiple sketchbooks and notebooks going on and then somewhere down the line of me filling them up, I abandon them. I will find a nice new shiny sketchbook and I'll say, ooh, I wanna use that one instead and I won't finish it. Um, and I always, I know that's not that big of a deal, but I do feel really, really bad. I feel like I'm not seeing things through. So I wanna complete an entire sketchbook. And I also want to do this project because I want to get back to basics. I want to get back into the habit, build up a regimen and a routine for drawing and sketching every day. So here goes. I decided to kick off this series by just doing something that comes very naturally to me and that's drawing things from nature. I have a little herb garden outside in my backyard and decided to just pick a few of the herbs and just paint them and sketch them out. When I first started picking up those watercolors, I was like, man, I am really rusty. <laughs> I am super out of practice with this. I felt very stiff. I felt like I didn't really know what I was doing. At first I started to sketch out you know, the outline of some basil with a green watercolor pencil and then I started to paint it in with the watercolors. And that didn't really work out, like the watercolors were were not moving the way I wanted them to. And eventually I kind of gave up on sketching it out first before I painted them in and I said, you know what, if this is going to end up being kind of more of a simplistic watercolor style, then so be it. And then once I started to go back in with my pencil and start to add texture and start to add lines to it, I liked it so much better. So I feel like so much more comfortable with drawing. I just feel like watercolors and I, I love the look of watercolors so much, but I need so much practice with them. It's, it was hard for me to get back into, which is why I'm glad I'm doing this challenge so that I can learn and practice the mediums that I really want to. So I started to vary my line pressure as well and I ended up really liking that effect. I liked how I just let some of the lines wither away to nothing and then some areas I made the lines very thick and I just shaded in a little bit. I didn't really think about a light source or anything, I just kind of wanted to add some texture um, just to add some interest to each little little leaf. Um, I like it. I think I like how it turned out. The sketchbook that I'm using is a Stillman and Burns Delta Series sketchbook and I have never had a sketchbook this high quality. Oh man, I was so terrified to start using this sketchbook because it was, I think, I think it was the priciest sketchbook I've ever bought, and that's because the paper quality is just phenomenal. It's very smooth, and it has an ivory color to it, and it's just so thick. I mean, it is like 270 pounds or something. It is the thickest sketchbook paper that I've ever had, and it doesn't buckle at all. Like. I know I didn't add a lot of watercolors to what I'm doing today, but it it's just completely smooth. I mean, it just didn't buckle. It's just the best. I actually did not start on the very first page. I opened it to a random middle page and just started there. Um, quite a few YouTubers have suggested not starting on the first page and just start in the middle, just so you don't have that first page um, anxiety. I still had anxiety. <laughs> but from starting a new notebook um, but I think that once I got started once I made that first mark with that green watercolor pencil it just it just took off and getting started is such a big step I mean that's half the battle right there so a lot of these herbs I have in my garden I have three different types of basil sweet basil and lime basil and Genovese basil, um, but I do not have purple basil in my garden. That's something that I want next year. I just love basil. I feel like I need to expand my little herb garden, even though I have a lot this year. I have 
two different types of parsley and I have dill or I had dill it died unfortunately and I have lavender and mint two different kinds of mint oregano hot and spicy oregano and cilantro I mean so much cilantro I don't know why I planted that much cilantro so this is not a consecutive day challenge I just feel like with editing and doing voiceovers and drawing it's just a lot to do every single day and I just don't want to set myself up for failure um, so what I'm going to do is just upload a video every time I work on the sketchbook and then at the end of the series I will do a flip through of all the pages I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.